Today I want to show you how to install the Damage Indicators mod. And um, what this mod does is it adds on a little uh, area to your GUI on the top left that basically shows you the health and um, any enchantments, or I'm sorry, any uh, potions that are having any effect on any mobs that you're looking at or fighting. And uh, this is really easy to install. It's it, it's only compatible with Forge right now, um, so if you don't have that, in, if you don't have Forge installed, I'll put a link to a video uh, that shows you how to install it. But basically, what you're going to do first to get the Damage indica Indicator mod is you want to go to Google and let's type in Damage Indicator mod. We'll go to the main forum and. We'll scroll down. Here we go. And then you just click this uh, to download the 1.6.4 version, which is what we're on right now. Um, and then pretty soon they'll have a 1.7 uh, version out. So I've already done this. I have it on my desktop. So what you'll do next is you want to go to your, um, your Minecraft directory. So we'll go to app data, roaming, dot minecraft and then um, mods uh, and the mods folder is what uh, actually let's take let's get rid of these so we just want to put in just the damage indicator mod and as I was saying the, the mods folder is what mod loader adds in that's where you just click and drag all of your mods to whenever you're installing them as long as they're mod loader compatible um, so the next thing we, we, we want to do is let's open up Minecraft and let's click or let's choose the right profile, Forge, and let's play. All right, so now let's go and we'll just go into a single player world and we'll test this out to see how it works. So, whoop. all right, we've got some horses over here. So if we run up and we look at them, here let me make this a little bit bigger. You can see on the top left there is a horse little indicator. And if you hit the period button on your keyboard, that'll bring up the menu for this this mod. Um, and so you have a few options. You can kind of play with them, but they're all pretty self-explanatory. You can just go through and, and click them all. Um, GUI scale, you can change how large it is on your screen, so if you want it to be kind of small and um, out of the way, you can make it smaller. You can change the color of damage. On mine, I made it red, um, but it's really just up to you. And then there's a few skins for it, um, if you want just kind of a different look. Um, so, yeah, I kind of like the unskinned one, though, even though it's kind of boring. It's also just very minimalist, and I kind of like that, so... Um, Oh, and in the advanced settings, you can also um, modify some of the data for mods. So for instance, you have the scale factor. You can put in um, uh, how big a mob would look in the, uh, in the portrait. So if you want it to be really big and zoomed in, you can make that a large number. This is pretty much works out of the box uh, with like vanilla Minecraft and, and most mods. There are some mods that add in new mobs and stuff like that. And, that's why you would want to use this area. Um, if some of the newer mods that you're using um, don't work well with this, you can kind of like um, just play with how it looks. And um, also you can even just decide to ignore mob altogether if you're getting kind of annoyed by seeing it. So for instance, if you don't want to always see pigs or sheep on your screen, just click ignore. Um, uh, yeah, but that's pretty much it. It's a really simple mod. It's really, really useful. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments and take care.